monitor you, traveller. You don't look like one of those poor devils out on the street. But if you come for work, I'm afraid there's none to be had. You found the elegant western headquarters of the Dragonstar Caravan Company. Congratulations. Try not to trip over the crates. Well, discretion is one of the many services we offer to potential employers. Shipping goods overland presents all manner of hazards, Fla. Highwaymen, customs inspections, legal entanglements. Our highly trained professionals grease the wheels. As we say in the caravan trade, trouble someplace just means more travel to someplace else. And let me tell you, right now plenty of people in Evermore are interested in sending their goods or themselves someplace else. Oh, there are always goods to ship, my dear. Screaming children, old women, whatever meager trinkets these poor fetchers can jam into their pockets. There are lots of citizens interested in a trip to Craglawn. Fares are up. A bust always comes after a boom. Alas, I suspect the Reach clans can sack the city soon. If they don't, the Imperials will. Then we'll be on our way. That's commerce for you. Nothing down here's in the right place. You know what that means? It just means more dumb dung I gotta deal with before I can get out of here. Caravan contract job east of here in those old alien ruins. Solosily, they call the place. Some mage out there wants an armed escort, and I'm the only one available to go. I can't stand dealing with mages, especially when it's just me. By Moloch, yes. I could use a partner on this one. Like I said, the pickup's out in the Solosily ruins. Meet me out there and we'll make some coin together. What in Moloch's name took you so long? You think I got time to sit on my arse out here? This job's hit a major snag and I need your help. It's the damn mage, of course. I told you. Working for them always gives me a headache, and this one's a real piece of work. I got here and the stupid mage... <sighs> well, you better just see for yourself. Follow me. Can you believe this? The fool's turned himself into iron. It's like a practical joke. I keep expecting my boss to step out from behind a rock and just tell me he wanted to see how I'd react. I'd carry the bastard if he wasn't so damn heavy. To stop me from taking him away. Said some stupid drivel about emotions. If there's one thing I hate more than magic, it's emotions. Can you just deal with this for me? I can't even think at this point. Hello there. I suggest you don't try to pick me up. You'll only injure your back. Don't ask for any long-winded explanations, either. It's tiring to talk when you're made of iron. No choice. That brute was going to forcibly remove me from the ruins, and I can't leave yet. I have to get my emotions back under control first. Precisely. My emotions are gone. Fear, anger, happiness, sadness. They got away from me, in the literal sense. It's this alien relic here. It's a gateway into the Salasali dream state. 
but by the time I realized it, my emotions were already gone. Yes, you could go into the dream state and convince them to come back. You'll have to upset them, though. Drive them to experience their counterbalanced state. Anger to fear, happiness to sadness, that sort of thing. If you'll sort all this dung talk out, you don't even have to do the escort. I'll just do it myself. I'll still give you half the coin, of course. Anything to avoid dealing with this myself. I can't believe this. You're just gonna lie down and take a nap? You know, you'd think being made of iron would be unpleasant but it's actually rather relaxing. Or maybe that's just because I have no emotions. I'm so glad you came by. I think I'm about to make a new friend, and you know what that means. I don't know about you, but when I make a new friend, I like to have a celebration. Buttons does too. Buttons and I are favorite friends, but there's always room for one more inside our circle of love. And you're invited. You want a quibble cake? Oh, my grandmother gave me Buttons as a pet when I was just a little boy. We were inseparable. When I was little, he carried me on his back. And when I got big, I carried him on my shoulder. Buttons is my favorite friend in all of Tamaril. Hey, you, you stop that. You're hurting Buttons' feelings. You're hurting my feelings, too. I'm going back to Anatoly. Did you see how gray it is here? Everything is gray, just like my life. One long chain of miserable, lonely days, each one worse than the day before it. Do you know why it is that I even bother to get out of bed? I don't know. I was hoping you knew, but now I'm disappointed again. I always tell people how bad things are, and then they get worse, and so the next time I see them, I have to tell them all over again. Do you want to know what else is sad? You're farming. You expect me to believe that you really want to listen to all my complaining? You must think I'm a fool. No one wants to hear all this. It's boring. I don't even want to hear it myself. <laughs> now that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. You think if I stop talking about it, it'll just go away? Like that's some secret trick to dealing with sadness. That's just hysterical. You're funny. You should be a minstrel.
What are you looking at? Did I say you could look at me? I don't think so. I don't even want you sharing my air. You're a festering boil on the lip of reality. I don't like boils or things that fester. Move on. Or do you have a problem with that? Oh, tell me you didn't say that. Tell me I didn't hear that right. How would you like a staff blast to your stupid, ugly face? Let's find out. Prepare yourself. Oh, gods! You're ruthless! Please, no more! You're really scaring me now! I'm going back to Anatoly! to eviscerate me. I just know it. I don't want to be eviscerated. It sounds awful. Because I had a nightmare, and someone told me they were going to eviscerate me. They described it in great detail, how they were going to cut me open and let all my internal organs spill out. My liver, my stomach. It was terrible. And it wasn't a very funny joke. My father was eviscerated, as a matter of fact. I'll put up with a lot, but jokes about evisceration are where I draw the line. Oh, now you're making jokes about my mother. Now you've done it. Now you've made me mad. I'm going back to Anatoly. <laughs> I miss buttons. Without him, everything is gray, and each day is worse than the one before. Get out of my face, unless you want me to mangle yours! Ha! You are so pathetic! It just makes me laugh! I think we should be friends. Maybe later, I'll tell you about buttons and our circle of love. Please! Don't hurt me again. I don't want to be eviscerated. <laughs> hmm. For some reason, looking at you makes me want to vomit. My emotions just feel like they're going to burst out and run away again. Overall, though, I am feeling a little lighter on my feet. I think so. I won't know for sure until I get home to my wife. Come to think of it, she's very similar to this alien relic. She's old and strange and brings out all of my emotions. Regardless, though, I'm ready to go whenever your friend is. So when I saw you go down for a nap, I decided this partnership was over. I certainly didn't think you were doing your part. Then the mage suddenly stands up and says he's ready to go, and that I have you to thank for it. Is that true? All right, all right, I don't need to hear any more. I'm not gonna pretend I understand any of this, and I don't really want to. Here's your half of the payment. I'll make sure the mage gets safely to his destination. Next time I get handed a contract with the words mage, magus, wizard, spell, or anything even remotely magic-related, I'm just gonna quit. You can have the relic, if you want it. Needless to say, I won't be taking it with me. 
That should get me a discount from Dragonstar Caravans, shouldn't it? 